In this lecture, we are going to write our own function, our own code to find the length of a given string. We already know to find the length of the given string using the str ln function available in string.h. But in this lecture, we are going to write our own function to find the length of the given string. Okay, so let's try to see the logic for the same. Let's say that you are having the character array a which is having the string hello stored in it. Let's say A is represented in the memory like this, okay? H-E-L-L-O and you'll have the null character at the end of the string. Now, how would you find the length of this string, right? So in this case, the actual length of this particular string is five because there are five characters. H, E, L, L and O, there are five characters. In the length, we'll not consider the null character. So to find the length, what I'll have to do is I'll have to scan this entire string until I find the null character. I'll check the string elements one by one. If I encounter the null character, I'll stop my loop at that point. Okay. So I'll have to run a loop until I find the null character. So I can use a while loop while. Okay. Now I'll have to give a condition. Okay. Now, first of all, I'll have to compare. I'll have to see if the first character is the null character. Right? So the first character is having the index i equals to 0. So let me have this variable int i initially initialized to 0 indicating I am talking about the index 0. Now i is 0, right? So I'll have to run a loop while until when? Until in my string a, a i is, if a i is not equals to null. If the element at index i is not null, h is not null. So what I do is I'll have to increment the value of i by one. So I'll write i plus plus. So now i was initially zero. Now i becomes one. Okay, i is one now. Now we'll go back and check that index i one. The element is e. So ai becomes e. e is not equals to null. That is true. So it'll go inside the loop. It'll increment the value of i. Now i becomes two. Go back and check the condition one more time. L is not equals to null, L is not null, so increment the value of i, now i becomes 3. Go back and check the condition, right? Now at index 3, this is L again, so this is not equals to null, so you, you have to increment the value of i by 1, so i becomes 4. Whenever i is 4, this is o, o is not equals to null, right? o and null, they are different characters, so this is, uh, this is true, this is not equals to null is true, o is not equals to null is true, it will go into the body of the loop, i is incremented, now i becomes 5. Okay, and then it'll go and check the condition one more time. Now, whenever i is 5, ai, ai now becomes null. So, null is not equals to null is false. Now, once this becomes false, this is false, right, it'll come outside of the loop, right? Now, if it comes outside of the loop here, at this point, you see the value of i. What is the value of i? Value of i is 5. So, this is my length, right? So, I'll just print or display the value of i. So, if I write printf, percent is d i now it will print it as 5 which is nothing but the length of this string right i have counted the length of this string so 1 2 3 4 5 there are five characters okay this is how you use a while loop to find the length of a given string so it's very simple so now let's write down a code to demonstrate the same so in this program i have already taken this string called as str having the size of 10 and it is storing the string hello space hi right? So I'm supposed to find the length of this string str. So let me have my own function to find the length of this string. So length is nothing but the integer value. So what I'll write here is I'll write int as the return type. So name of the function, let's say it is string length. Okay. And it'll take one uh, string as the input, right? So care, let me call it as s. S is the string for which I'm trying to find out the length. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll have to have this variable i which is initialized to zero because I have to start from the index zero. So now I'll run a while loop to iterate over the entire elements of my string. So I'll do s i element at index i is not equals to null. If the element is not null, then that means the element is not null, it is something else. So I found one valid character apart from the null character. So I'll have to increment the index i by one. Okay, so I do i++ plus plus because I'll have to now go to the next index, the element at the next index. So I'll keep on repeating this process until I find the null element. Okay, so once the null element is found, it will come outside of the loop. So it will come outside of the loop once null character is found, it will come outside of the loop, right? So at this point, i is nothing but the length of the string. So i is the length, okay? i itself is the length, so I'll have to return the length, which is i. 
So whoever called this function will get the value of i, which is nothing but the length of the string. Okay, so let's call this function a string length here. So I'll just write int answer. Okay, I'll write answer is equals to, I'll just call string length my function and I'll pass the name of the string. So name of the string is str. Okay, str will be now copied to s. So s is nothing but the same as str. Okay, so we'll find the length of the string here and then return back the answer i. i would be stored in the variable ans here. So which is my answer, which is my length. So I'll just print here, print it. Length of uh, your string percent is s is percent is d. Okay, so name of my string is str. Length of str is nothing but ans, which is my answer. Okay, now let me compile this code gcc string length dot c. Okay, compilation is successful. Let's run this. So it's saying length of hello hi is 8 and this is the correct answer. This is 5 plus space 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 characters. This is the correct answer. Okay, you can give any another string. Let me give hello, right? If I just give hello and compile this code and then see what happens, length of hello is 5 and this is the correct answer. So that's all in this lecture. This is quite simple. Here we have learned how to write our own function to find the length of a given string, right? So you have to note down here that to find the length of the given string, you'll be needing the string, right? So this is the string provided as the input to this function. And once you do the processing, you will finally return back the integer value. So the written type here is int, okay? And then you will do a while loop until you find the null character. Once you find the null character, you just send the index i. So that's all in this lecture. Stay tuned.